Oh, oh my God. As a tornado passed through Madison last December, cameras captured a ball of fire on the horizon. The explosion was too big to be a blown transformer on the street. So what was it? It turns out an impressive EF2 cut right through a substation in Madison. According to Jack Baxter at NES, a high voltage circuit breaker took a direct hit. Seeing that, you know, it gave us a good idea of the types of damage we were going to see because it took our crews quite a quite a bit of time to get here because of all the debris and to actually make their way in here. The tornado touched down around sunset. NES shared video from 445 in the afternoon of 120 mile per hour winds whipping through the steel structures. The next day, the damage across Madison shocked everyone. And as for the substation, it looked like it was in a million pieces. You know, we, we patched a lot of things to get things back. Uh, some, some of the repairs in here have just been made in the last month or so. It probably goes without saying, this transmission substation is vital. It sends power to the substations that send power to homes and businesses. Approximately 48,000 NES customers lost power on December 9, 2023. Along with this equipment, at least 190 power poles were broken and the substation for Hendersonville was hit. You can see some of the, the shinier stuff. That is stuff that we had to replace. Using parts from their warehouse and goods from other utilities to rebuild the substation, it was in good working order in a few days. We had TVA working on one end, NES working on this end, you know, both trying to build back to Hendersonville as soon as we could. Relentless work, that's what it takes to get the lights back on. Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.